So what do you think stands out about what the product can offer to our, or our clients are perspective? I think it's being able to offer something that that nobody else is is currently able to do. Yeah. We have, I mean, the three things that I'd identified, you know, from the get-go essentially after going through the training and understanding and learning the product mm-hmm. was transparency, flexibility, and efficiency. I think they're the three core pillars of, of what CPL does. And, you know, especially with the current legislation in, in Scotland, the transparency aspect is is massive. Yeah. And it's something that's really crucial to a lot of our clients. But not only that, you know, we are developing the system at a rate of knots. And yeah. You'll obviously be aware of that. And so it's not a case of the system is standing still. And, uh-huh. you know, this is what you get and this is how it's going to be. It's a case of this is what we've got now. That's going to be completely different in six months' yeah. time. Yeah. And that's where that flexibility lies. It's a case of everybody's different and everybody's got different processes and they work in different ways. And so being able to to tailor uh, a system and, and kind of make changes and adapt it to suit in everybody's in particular way of working. And um, it helps us to be able to to kind of break the mold and make sure that we're offering a service that is, is like you said, adding a significant amount of value to each and every one of our clients, depending on how they currently operate. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, it, it's funny because um, I've spoken, I mean, this has happened over the years a number of times, and I don't know what investment we've got in our product. I mean, I, I probably we've probably at least got a couple of million quid invested in that in that product set. Um, in fact, probably more than that, actually. Um, and when you look at our business as well, fifty um, percent of our our team are developers. Mm. So, you know, and I mean, our team has it's not doubled over the last six to 12 months, but it's certainly increased um, significantly and near, and near that. And and the majority of those people are developers now. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's and that is that is testament to the fact that we still have problems to solve and we still have markets to move into and these sort of things. So, so yeah, it's a very exciting time to be. It's a very exciting time. And I'm glad you picked up on those things, actually, when you were. Um, once you've seen the product. Okay, so one of the biggest things for us at the moment is Housing Association Scotland, because, and I don't know quite what's happened, um, but over the last, maybe maybe it's because you've phoned the more connecting with LinkedIn, but the amount of inbound um, connections and inbound inquiries we're getting is, is significant at the moment. Um, why do you think that is? And, and, and how is the kind of, those conversations evolving with housing associations? I think there's a there's a mindset shift starting to appear. I think a lot of housing associations in the past have seen the factoring side of their operation as a necessary evil. And they're starting to understand that they have a duty of care to the client at the end client at the end of the day. And so they want to be providing the best possible service to that client. And so the current methods of of providing that service at the moment with an all-in-one system kind of falls short of the mark. Yeah. And I think that's becoming more and more prevalent because people are more and more privy to information in the technology age now. And yeah. So if you're speaking to a friend that's using a different service and they're, they're offering much better value, then absolutely they're going to be talking and you'd be wondering why you're not receiving that service. And so products like CPL are now becoming more and more prevalent to that side of the industry because yeah. it's becoming more and more important to their end client. And at the end of the day, they're the most important people around the table. Um, but not only that, you know, it's a case of being able to provide your own staff the tools that they need in order to to carry out their job in the manner that is expected, you know, the, the, the level of service that you're wanting to provide to the clients. And so maintaining staff and keeping talent is crucial. Yeah. Uh, and to be able to provide them with the right tools is going gonna, is gonna to keep them, you know, in your organization rather than starting to look elsewhere. No, I'd agree with that. I mean, this is, you know, we've spoken, Jackson and I have spoken to people about, you know, well-being and of property management and all that. We've, we've spoken uh, at huge lengths on the podcast about that. So actually finding good people and keeping them in this industry is, 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 is not the easiest thing in the world to do. But if you're not providing them with the tools to do a job, then that becomes a hell of a lot harder. And I think the challenge, and, and I, I found this when I was chatting to someone recently that, that we, we've been speaking to, um, the challenge is, and it comes back to the, I don't know what I don't know. Mm. Because, you know, at the end of the day, housing associations do an enormous amount of, 
uh, of, of, of things and activities that aren't factory related. Factory is probably a relatively small part of what housing association does. So actually for mainstream housing association provider, software providers, spending time and effort on a kind of what's relatively small part, I guess, of what a housing association does, maybe doesn't make sense. And and even, you know, we we we, we even speak to people who have Housing Association software that's that's newer and it actually even has a factoring package. But mm. but what is a factoring package? You know, what is a you know that you can't you can't just say I do factoring. Yeah, it's you know I mean? just a tick box yeah. rather than an actual value added service. Absolutely. And I think that's the challenge. And I think the challenge there is if and, and a lot of a lot of the inquiries or some inquiries, not a lot too fair, some inquiries that we get are from people who have moved from a private factor. Yeah. To a housing association, they've seen what CPL can provide them, and they look at what they're being provided and go, "How do I do my job with this?" Yeah, yeah it's exactly. just not going to happen. And, and you, you often say, you know, factoring is not easy. It's yeah. a difficult thing to do. And so, if you've got somebody that is professing to be the jack of all trades, they end up being the master of yeah. none. And so, you are factoring. You know, there are housing associations that are engaging in the factoring process. And if you've not got the tools to do that correctly and efficiently, uh-huh. you know, you're falling behind. You know, you have to do it at the end of the day. And like we say, it's not easy. Yeah. So, why not provide you and your staff with the best tools to to carry out the job? Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Okay. So, what can people expect when they speak to you? So, I think. Some people may have the preconception that it's going to be a sales pitch, right. which it very much isn't. I think, like we were mentioning before, we, we attack this from a, a consultancy standpoint. Yeah. I think we, if you speak to me, it's a case of wanting to, for me to want to understand where the challenges lie. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I need to know that we can, we can satisfy those needs. Yeah. You know, there's no point of us trying to push a product on somebody that isn't going to work at the end of the day. You know, it doesn't work on both sides of the, you know, the table. So for me, it's a case of understanding where the challenges lie and what they need out of the system. And then I look at, okay, well, can CPL provide that? And if it can, how do we do that? And then at that point, we can then, if you're happy with it, discuss up further date and go through a demonstration and start to understand how that software is going to work for you. And, you know, having a physical demonstration, seeing the software in action. (laughs) 